All right, so we got some new uh, flick controllers, EEC stacks here from Hollybro. Uh, got a 30 by 30 stack, 20 by 20 stack, and a 20 by 20 mini ESC. So they are also available individually in individual parts. So check down in the video description for all the links. I'm gonna also show you some of these product pages because uh, I can't possibly remember every little spec that's on these. and I'm, I'm gonna kind of gloss over these. So if you're looking for specific information that I might have missed, check the links in the description. They'll be more detailed. And also these come in and out of stock in a lot of these stores um, because they're, they're buying like smaller supplies. And um, they tend to, especially these days with the chip shortage, these kinds of parts tend to uh, go out of stock quickly. So you wanna keep checking those links so that you don't miss them. I actually don't know what's in stock and what's on stock, I haven't checked. Um, but yeah, just check the links and then uh, the stores will let you know if they have them in stock or not. All right, first off, we're gonna check out this uh, 30 by 30 stack. And again, they are available as individual parts, so they'll be linked down in the uh, description. So this is the Kukute H7 for the flight controller and uh, the ESD is a Teco 32F4 metal 4-in-1 uh, 65 amp ESD. I believe there's also a 50 amp ESD available as well if you don't want the giant 65 amp ESD. It, and the, when you buy the stack, it comes fully assembled like this with the nuts and screws. I removed these so that I could take them apart and show you the boards. But um, they are M3 screws and nuts for the hardware for mounting. Uh, you get a 1000 microfarad uh, 35 volt capacitor. I think that you get this with every single one of your stacks now. You get the, uh, uh, the cable that goes from the uh, flight controller to the ESC for the, um, the connecting the stacks together. And then you get some additional cables here for your DJI like air unit and stuff. So there's a, there's a plug on the flight controller for that. So I'll just show you, this is what the stack looks like when it's together. It comes with the rubber grommets already installed. But here's the uh, flight controller by itself. Pop that off. So uh, both of these stacks, the, or the flight controllers, they come with H7 processors now. And so if you're wondering, well, what's the difference between H7 and an F7? Basically the H7 is the next generation version of the chip. They're actually the same size, the same uh, pinout, the pin, same uh, pin configuration, so they're pin compatible. Uh, but the H7 is a faster uh, processor, so it has a, a higher free, uh, CPU frequency. So for those of you that like to do 8K, 8K and RPM filtering and all that kind of stuff, and you need the extra processing power, and you're running multiple devices, then you're gonna want the H7 over the F7, but there's not a huge difference. The, um, the flash memory size on the H7 is a little bit smaller than the F7, but it has a new feature where you can actually load in uh, firmware from the micro SD card slot and also the, you know, the dump in all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you want to try beta flight and then switch to uh, iNav, for example, on the fly, etc., uh, this processor has a capability, but those features haven't been put into beta flight or iNav yet. So it's a, there's, you know, it's a new chip. So there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out free of each H7s. Uh, there, you know, obviously there's more capabilities but those are not realized yet because it's too new and the developers haven't made that yet. But, you know, pretty standard uh, 30 by 30 stack here, or 30 by 30 flight controller. You have M3 holes for the screws and grommets. I think the holes are M4 and then the grommets, the grommet holes are M3. You have uh, two connectors here for your ESC. So if you want to change the orientation of your ESC compared to the flight controller, you don't have to run the cables all over weird. So that you can choose either one. Um, there's a micro SD card slot here on the bottom for black box data. The uh, board has a nine volt and five volt regulator. Uh, beta flight OSD chip, got a barometer right there. So pretty, you know, pretty fully loaded. I mean, it's an expensive um, chip. You got a MPU 6000 gyro. I think that might be the barometer right there. Micro USB connector. So um, not, not USB-C, which is on the, interestingly on the smaller one, the mini, each of the mini, which I'll show you in a second, it's USB-C, but they've gone with micro USB on this one. And then you have your connector here for your DJI Air Unit or Cadex Vista. And this is what the uh, 4 in one ESC looks like. You got your 
Uh, these are the uh, the metal FETs, and uh, this is a F4 processor on these, so it's got the uh, super fast processor for smoother, I guess, processing of the ESC. On the bottom here, you have a, a few shunts for your current sensor, a whole bunch of little capacitors there on the bottom right here. And uh, this doesn't look like it has any conformal coding or anything on here, so pretty basic, but it looks like the F4 is on a separate board that's been soldered on top of the ESC PCB. That's why it looks like it's kind of raised off of there. It's actually a separate PCB. Giant uh, pads for your uh, battery connector. Now it looks like it doesn't, doesn't none of these come with XT30s or XT60s, so something to keep in mind. And um, it looks like the connector here for your flight controller is only a connector. There's no solder pads to, yeah, to your flight controller. So I know that some flight controllers these days offer solder pads instead of the connector. This one does not offer that. And likewise on the, um, yeah, the connectors on the flight controller, no solder pads. So if you break the connector off, that is a downside. The, you will have to um, get a new board. All right, so just some of the uh, additional features that I might have missed here on the product page for the H7 flight controller. It does come with uh, Bluetooth, so you can use this B2B app to connect to it. Uh, as I mentioned, it's got the two ports for your ES 4 one ESC, so you can choose either one, barometer, HD camera plug, I think that's they're referring to the DJI there, yeah, a Betaflight OSD, six UARTs, uh, black box for the micro SD card slot, five and nine volt uh, voltage regulators, uh, this does go up to 8S for the flight controller, but I think the ESC is only 6S. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, H7 processor, 480 megahertz, MPU 6000, barometer. Um, it does have eight motor outputs, and it says it weighs eight grams. All right, so let's just check that. It's, um, on my scale, it's eight and a half grams. Uh, it's probably not including those rubber grommets. Okay, so on the uh, 4-in-1 ESC, the 65 amp version, let's take a look at those specs. So, yeah, 6S, like I said, um, 4 to 6S. So, flight control goes to 8S, but this one only goes to 6S. 65 amps, so it'll burst to 70 up to 10 seconds. There's no BEC on board. D-Shot 300, 600, 1200, telemetry. Uh, pretty standard there, and it says it weighs 15.8 grams. Okay, and yeah, so with the rubber grommets, it's about 15 and a half grams. So yeah, I'm thinking the, the rubber grommets weigh about half a gram. Okay, so this is the H7 mini stack. So it's got the 20 by 20 versions of these parts. So for smaller builds, uh, H7 mini flight controller. And then the uh, 4 in one ESC has got the Teco 32F4 Big Fet 4 in one 50 amp stack. So this is a... Uh, the ESC is a 4 in 1 uh, 50 amp. So, this again, I disassembled or partially took the nuts off and took the screws out already, but it comes uh, completely built like this. And I just kind of slide this off so I can show you the parts separately. So, here's what the flight controller looks like. You got all your connectors on the edge of the board, pretty tiny. They're, they're all uh, uh, pass through holes. USB C, you got your bootloader button. You have your I think you have one connector is for your ESC and then another one's probably for the DJI. Let me just double check here. So you do have your you know, wiring harnesses for your ESC and then and then also your wiring harnesses for DJI as well. M3 hardware and then the yeah, 1000 microfarad 35 volt capacitor again. So yeah, M4 holes, M3 holes on the grommets and then on the other side, here's what it looks like, uh, an H7. Um, I think it only has one voltage rig there. I'll, I'll, I'll check that in the specs. And then it looks like it has black box data. I'm pretty sure it's a you know, Betaflight OSD and an MPU 6000. Okay, so uh, taking a look at the uh, specs and features on the H7 Mini. Again, uh, HD camera plug, barometer, OSD, uh, VTX on off uh, pit switch, six UARTs, 128 megabytes of onboard, flash data for black box, so no micro SD card slot. 5 volt, 2 amp BC, there's no 9 volt BC. It looks, it just looks like it's not there. Then you have a, uh, it's only, uh, this board only goes up to 6S. It's got the H7 480 megahertz uh, uh, CPU, and then uh, MPU 6000 gyro, barometer, OSD, six UARTs, eight motor outputs, 
on this one as well. And it says it weighs five and a half grams. So in my scale, it's uh, about 6.12 grams. All right, let's take a look at the 4 and one ESC. This is a 50 amp uh, ESC BLL32. It's got really large pads here on the side for your motor um, wires. And I do like that they're off of the edge. So and when you have the stacks like this, you still have access to those wires, even though it's underneath the flight controller. So if you need to change your motor or something, having those a little bit further out and having big pads like that, I think is a plus in my opinion. You have um, yeah, you have your fairly big pads here on for the battery leads, but they're only on one side, just like the other board as well. And there's no solder pads for the connector here uh, that goes to the flight controller. So yeah, if you happen to crash and break this connector off, soldering this on again is a kind of a hassle. Okay, so taking a look at the uh, features again on, on this particular AC, F4 MCU, so it's uh, top of the line uh, MCU on the AC, PWM, PWM output up to 96K, uh, it has a default of 48K, so 4 to 6S uh, voltage input, uh, it says 50 amps bursting to 60 amps, and it's got uh, BLH32 firmer on there. And it says it weighs about 11.8 grams. And on my scale, it's about 12, a little over, well, about 12.1 grams. All right, the last new part here is this Teco 32 F4. It's a 4 in 1 mini, 45 amp EC. So if you compare this to the other EC here, it's a little bit less in terms of um, current uh, capacity, but it's I think this is going to be for smaller builds and it definitely feels way lighter than this other bigger one. So this is probably, like this bigger one here is probably for like five inch builds that want to use a 20 by 20 stack. And then this one, the smaller one here is gonna be for like four inch and undersized builds uh, for uh, probably something, you know, uh, what's gonna be drawing a lot of power. I'm thinking like a four inch that doesn't want to have a lot of weight. But uh, I think it's pretty much the same as the other one, just 45 amps and it has an F4, but just smaller and lighter. But this one has solder pads here for the connector, unlike the other ones. So if you break that connector, you, you can solder uh, to you know, solder your wires directly to this. So I'm not sure why they elected not to uh, do that for the other ones. Uh, I think that's what most people are looking for these days. And again, the battery uh, connectors are, or the battery pads are only on one side of the board, not on both. Um, but it looks like a solid. I mean, these these uh, flight controllers and ECs are, are definitely advancing along, and each iteration they look like they're getting better and better. This does come with your same wiring loom, and also it comes with rubber grommets that aren't pre-installed, and a thousand uh, microfarad 35 volt capacitor. That's all that came with this. And taking a quick look at the specs again: three to six S voltage, uh, 45 amps bursting to 50 amps, uh, and BL Heli. 32 uh, EF firmware on there, and let's see, it says it weighs 7.2 grams. All right, so yeah, so it's about yeah, it's about seven grams on my scale, not including the rubber grommets. So compare that to the much bigger ESC here. That's like 50 amps. Yeah, it's like uh, 12 grams versus seven grams, and it's a five gram difference. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments about the new parts here. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.